So while you guys were out with your family, drinking a little bit too much, maybe eating a little bit too much over the holidays on vacation away from your job, the government actually passed a bill on December the 17th, just before they decided to do the partial shutdown. So guess what? The Small Business Entrepreneurship Committee put a bill in place that could benefit all of small business contractors out there. So if you want to learn more, stay tuned and watch this video now. Hey guys, welcome. Listen, today we're talking about the Small Business Runway Extension Act of 2018 signed by the President of the United States on December the 17th, just before the shutdown. And what the Small Business Runway Act does is it allows small business contractors to remain small for a longer period of time. How does it do that? Well, you know how the SBA has what's called the Small Business Size Standards. They look at your NAGS code and they determine whether or not you're small based on number of employees or your dollar amount of revenues. So the government typically in the old system looked at what's called a three year average. But now with this new bill that was implemented, it's only they're looking at a five year average. So the government is now taking your previous five years of history and they're using that to determine whether or not you're a small business under the respective primary NAX code. So how does this benefit us? Easy, because now as we're growing our businesses and let's say right now we're year zero, we start off and we don't have any revenues and then we do, you know, we start, we will start winning contracts. We don't immediately get bumped up into a large business status. So we get to remain small business a little bit longer period of time as we're growing and getting contracts. The most, the majority of the people that I saw who were impacted by things like this were companies that were awarded, um, let's say an IDIQ or a BPA. And so they got one or two large contracts and immediately got bumped up to a considered a large business, even though they didn't have the history of time on their side to be a large business because of the revenues, it immediately bumped them up. So now those companies get to remain small for a longer a period of time. Who does this hurt? Because we know there's two sides of a coin. It hurts the establishment. So any of the established companies out there that may be declining revenues, they're going to remain large businesses for a longer period of time. But the good news is that doesn't affect 99% of the people out there, especially the people who are watching me, my audience, because why? We're all small businesses trying to grow our businesses. We're not the establishment trying to maintain control. So thank you, Congress. Thank you, um, for everyone who participated in this, we appreciate the Small Business Runway Extension Act of 2018. If you learned something today or if this can impact you in some kind of way, please leave a comment below and let me know how this impacts you, your business, or maybe one of the clients that you work with. All right. Thanks so much for watching. As always, hit the like button below and we'll see you next time.